I asked Lucas, how, how did you know she was the one? And Lucas explained there was a car ride that he was taking in, in 2020. And he called Grace and he was a little bit frustrated. Uh, he was frustrated with the satisfaction that his job was bringing him. And through the frustrated and teary explanation of where he was at, Grace responded on the other line with her calm and even keen tone. She said, well, this probably isn't the place for you, but we'll find somewhere. Lucas said he realized the we in that sentence. And he realized the future would always include we. I asked Grace the same question, how did you know? Grace's answer was a little bit shorter. She said, I just always did. The things that came back to my mind when I started thinking about speaking about Grace was when she was little, you know, which is, of course, parents will tell you, you always kind of remember those things. And Gracie used to always, no matter where we were, I could be getting a trophy or saying a speech in front of lots of people. Gracie would just kind of walk up and put her arms up for me to, to hold her. What it meant to me, even though she was very young, was like, you know, I need you and you need me. And so I wanted to say just uh, as, a, as a man with respect coming to me and asking me uh, to marry my daughter um, meant so much. It's a courage and character, the words that came to my mind when you did it. Today's a big day. Uh, it's a new chapter in your love story. I've seen the two of you grow in your relationship over the past five years. I've seen how it's flourished. And I'm so happy to be standing with both of you today. As I sat down, Okay. As I sat down to write my vows to you, I wanted to reflect on what you've meant in my life over the last six years. During the time I met you and the years prior, I would regularly pray for patience. While I still haven't become quite a patient person, I believe God has given me you as a clear example. You are patient with your family and friends, you are patient in your everyday actions, and you are patient in the way you love me. In marrying you today, I truly believe I am the luckiest man. I get to marry the most beautiful, selfless, and loving person I know. Hi. Hey, Grace. What's up? Lucas, one of the many reasons I know I want to spend my life with you is because you make me want to be better. Better at loving others, but more importantly, better at loving myself. As individuals, I know we're both so capable, but together, I feel we are unstoppable. In the past five years, we've proven that through any hardship, darkness or pain, we'll always be able to remain strong in our commitment to each other. And knowing that we took the long route to get where we are today makes it that much more rewarding to be where we are. The first night that I met you, you made me nervous. I had never met anyone so universally loved and so genuinely confident in who they are. But falling for you was different. Falling for you didn't feel like falling at all. It felt like walking into a house and knowing your home. In the heart of every moment, there's a magic hour. Yeah. You look so good, Grace. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel good. The home we built has a foundation of trust, loyalty, and acceptance. You accept every part of me, you let me cry, you make me laugh, and you help me grow. One of the many reasons I know I want to spend my life with you is because you make me want to be better. Already a part of our family and have been for the past five years. 
you have shown up for us and made it clear what type of man you are. You all know it. You've heard it over and over again. He's you know, kind of universally liked person, um, loved person, and, and that goes for for us as well. With that, I vow to always choose you. I vow to remember we, we are always on the same team, even when I want to win. <laughs> I vow to be your best friend and biggest supporter. And I vow to never give up on becoming a morning person. Lastly, I vow to love you the way you deserve to be loved with my whole heart. I love you, Grace, and I'm, I'm so excited to start the rest of our lives together. I know that life will have so many seasons, but there are a few things that I can promise. I vow to never stop trying new things with you, even when it's scary. I vow to be spontaneous with you, even if I already have our entire week planned out. <laughs> but most importantly, I vow to love you unconditionally and fully and without reservation. You challenge me, you excite me, and I can't wait to spend my life with you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> By the authority vested in me as a commissioned minister in the state of California, I now pronounce you as my